More than 5,000 delegates converge on the Chinese capital, Beijing, for the two biggest political meetings of the year. They're commonly known as the Two Sessions, or Lianghui in Chinese. And although they begin just days apart, they're actually very separate affairs. The meeting of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, or the CPPCC, begins first. The CPPCC is China's top political advisory committee. It's sort of like the House of Lords in Britain or the Senate of some other democratic countries, but its role is limited to advising the government on policies. The CPPCC is made up of 2,200 representatives from political parties, social groups, professions, various sectors, and other organizations. During their two-week meeting, CPPCC delegates discuss issues ranging from economics to religion to sports to health to foreign affairs, just to name a few. The various committees make proposals for the government to consider, all with the aim of bettering the lives of over 1.4 billion Chinese citizens. Basically, the CPPCC is the closest Chinese people get to having a say in their country's affairs, but it has no lawmaking power. That authority belongs to the National People's Congress, or NPC. Its meeting is the second of the two sessions. The NPC is like the House of Representatives in the US or House of Commons in the UK, but there are some key differences. First, the full session of the NPC meets just once a year, here in the Great Hall of the People. Second, with nearly 3,000 delegates, the NPC is larger than its US and British counterparts combined. It's the largest parliamentary body in the world. The third major difference between the NPC and the House of Commons or the House of Representatives is how the delegates are selected. NPC deputies are elected from the provinces, autonomous regions, and municipalities that are directly controlled by the central government and the special administrative regions of Hong Kong and Macau. Some NPC deputies are chosen based on their professional credentials and may not have any political affiliation, but the vast majority of delegates belong to the ruling Communist Party. The NPC meeting's agenda is also set months in advance, and the whole event is highly choreographed you're not going to see any filibusters here. NPC delegates don't normally go against CPC-endorsed government plans. But it has happened on occasion. In 1992, a third of NPC delegates voted against or abstained from approving the controversial Three Gorges Dam project. It was quite the political statement, but in the end, the dam was approved anyway. This is also one of the few times during the year that the media have an opportunity to pose questions directly to top government officials. But those press conferences too are highly choreographed, with questions being submitted, screened, and selected in advance. Journalists who veer off script risk not being invited back in subsequent years. There are unlikely to be any major surprises at the two sessions. These meetings are the central government's way of telling the people of China and the world what its priorities and plans are for the next year.